Hi, good evening. You're watching Plain Speak with me, Akanksha Swaroop, and we are coming live to you from the CNN News 18 and Federal Bank Prime Time Studio. It is Raksha Bandhan today, a festival that celebrates the bond of protection for both women and men. And so on an occasion that's rather bitterly ironical for the women of Bengal, the protesting doctors have tied black rakhis as a mark of their agitation against the alleged rape and murder of a postgraduate trainee doctor at the Arjikar Medical College in Kolkata. And for the Bengal Chief Minister, the opposition BJP or CPIM are the least of her worries. There are many, many questions Banerjee needs to find answers to. Because it's not just the opposition and the general public. In fact, many of her own party colleagues, such as TMC's Sukhendu Shekhar Roy, who are equally suspicious. The TMC MP has approached the Calcutta High Court seeking protection from arrest. Roy has slammed the demolition work and called for custodial interrogation of the police commissioner and former hospital principal. Moreover, CNN News 18 has also spoken to several students from the Arjikar Medical College who, because of who, the undue pressure by the former principal and his coterie were in fact forced to commit suicide. What's even more shocking is that the Kolkata police have summoned two protesting doctors, Dr. Sarkar and Dr. Goswami, for allegedly spreading misinformation. There are many questions being raised about the role and response of the Kolkata police attempts to hush up the entire murder case as a suicide case and conspiracy theories among others. And so instead of probing the role of the Kolkata police, the police commissioner and the ex-principal Dr. Sandeep Ghosh has Mamta Banerjee protected the perpetrators with her political patronage. Clearly, the West Bengal CM is losing the plot now that the Bengal government is under fire. That brings us to the big question, is there an attempt to silence and intimidate? And now the state government is currently facing fire from all sides. Let's also bring you all those questions that in fact hint at a cover-up attempt and complicity that's currently haunting the administration and the recent decisions by the government and the police have only made matters worse. Here are why the state faces allegations of muzzling dissent. Firstly, there's been uh, prohibitory orders for seven days outside the RG car hospital that also indicate at a bid to silence uh, the protesters as well. The Durant Cup game was in fact cancelled with the threat of protests. Mind you, these have been peaceful protests except for the time on the eve of Independence Day when there was a violent mob that attacked those peaceful protesters. At the same time, top doctors have been summoned for spreading misinformation Dr. Sarkar and Dr. Goswami, uh, both of them. BJP and the CPIM leaders have summoned for comments on the case as well because the opposition has also raised similar queries. TMC MP Sukhendu Roy has also been summoned as has been Shantanu Sen who has been axed from post. At the same time, the college students have been arrested for their posts against Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee. So clearly, TMC is also cracking down heavily on anybody who's taking to social media to voice uh, themselves against the current administration and the government. TMC's political rivals are also questioning the double standards of the party and the state government. The victim's parents have also raised similar questions. The biggest challenge for the police and the administration is to effectively counter the narrative of applying different yardsticks as per their convenience. While a college student has been arrested by Kolkata police for a provocative social media post that incited violence against West Bengal's Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee, a state minister, Udhyan Guha, has openly threatened violence against those who are questioning Mamata Banerjee and pointing the finger at her. The TMC is yet to publicly denounce its leader for that own comment. Now, activists, doctors, even TMC leaders have raised questions on this case, have also been summoned by the Kolkata police for questioning, accusing them of spreading misinformation. On the other hand, the Trinamool Congress has accused its political detractors of using a toolkit to target the state government and destabilize it. After the vandalism at the Arjikar Hospital on the night of 14th of August, the state decided to clamp down and invoke prohibitory orders around Arjikar Hospital, which means no protests could take place there. But while that dissenting voice was also being muzzled, ironically, the Chief Minister herself marched for justice 
it's it's uh, an open secret that uh, Mamta Banerjee has been uh, somebody who believes in protest, something she, that she also displayed as her role when she was in the opposition. But the TMC is a divided house today. Some of its own netas do not seem convinced with the defence of the state government. Party MP Sukhendu Shekhar Roy in a social media post in fact himself demanded that the CBI must undertake custodial interrogation of the Kolkata Police Commissioner and previous principal of the RJ Carr Medical College that also invited summons from the police for questioning today which prompted him to move the Calcutta High Court. Why so? He is in fact seeking anticipatory bail. He is expecting that he will be arrested any time from now. Former TNC MP Shantanu Sen, who criticised the principal of Kolkata's RG Car Medical College, was sacked as a party spokesperson. He has also claimed that some people are not giving the right picture to the Chief Minister about what's happening in the Health Department. That also brings us to the question, is Mamta Banerjee more susceptible to uh, such kind of political patronage? And so on, that's the big question as far as the Bengal government coming under fire. The question we are probing today, is Mamta Banerjee's government making an attempt to silence and intimidate all those who are currently raising questions at the role that the Kolkata police and the Mamta Banerjee government has played? be an understatement of the decade to say that what went wrong. I hope something went wrong with me. But that is not the fact of the matter. The fact of the matter is not, perhaps it will be very difficult to find anything which is going right in and around you and me in this city and state right now. हम लोग का डिपार्टमेंट का कोई नहीं और कॉलेज का कोई हमारा साथ कॉपरेट नहीं किया मिशन घाट का बात बारे में बोलते हैं सोसाइटी घाट के बारे में उधर तीन बॉडी पड़ा हुआ था लेकिन इसके पहले ही हमारा लड़की का बॉडी जला दिया गया ये ये रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ व्हाट इस हैपनिंग हियर काइंड ऑफ रियलिटी चेक is there in the reported statement or observation of the Honorable High Court that there is absolute failure of the machinery in the state government. And with that, let me introduce our esteemed panelists today. I'm joined in by Dr. Sanjeev Bagai, who is a Padma Shri awardee and also the chairperson of the Nephron Clinic. I'm joined in by Mr. Shashikant, who's a former IPS officer, Ms. Charu Pragya, who's a spokesperson for the Bharatiya Janata Party, and Manav Jaiswal, who's a spokesperson for the Trinamool Congress. Many thanks to you, Charu, and the gentleman for joining in. Dr. Bagai, I'd like to begin with you. It's very ironical that we have to discuss women's safety on a day women have been granted protection and it's rather celebrated on a day like like Raksha Bandhan, but Dr. Bagai, what was the need to pen that letter to the Prime Minister while you also shed light on all those components and whatever that you've asked of the Prime Minister, but why pen a, a, a letter to the Prime Minister in the first place? Why not the Chief Minister, Mamta Banerjee? Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I think it's uh, it's sad that on a day when a brother ties, uh, 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 gets a rakhi tied from a sister, we aren't uh, able to protect our own women young doctors, young sisters, young daughters, young daughter-in-laws in our own country. And I don't think what's happening in West Bengal has done their government any proud at all. Uh, we need safety for young doctors. In fact, for all doctors, we need safety for the young nursing staff. The hospitals, at least the government hospitals there, have been shown in extremely poor light. They are ill-equipped to do that. Point number two is, as a large medical community, we are extremely pained. We are pained on, on the way the entire process has been conducted. We don't want any wash up. We don't want any botched up investigations. We don't want any cover up. We want the guilty to be punished. In a sense, what we have asked the Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister is, 
we want safety protocols in the hospitals we want to act for quick and prompt response justice and we want this mess cleared up in west bengal we don't trust what is happening there therefore prime minister of india has been addressed with this letter about 72 73 of our doctors senior doctors have written this letter we are pained trust me it distresses us it could be one of our family members who could have lost our lives how would we like that we will not tolerate this kind of injustice to women in our country Mr. Shashi Kant, I'd like to bring you in on this aspect. While I'm sure the centre is going to pay heed to that letter, of course, the Prime Minister too. We all know that you know bringing in an act is not going to happen overnight. But having said that, this complete erosion of trust uh, within the people of Bengal, the women of Bengal, as far as the Mamta Banerjee government is concerned, what are those lapses that has led to this complete trust deficit? Well, in one sentence, it's a breakdown of the entire machine. Very sad, whatever has happened in West Bengal. Uh, but this thing happened in Delhi, Nirbhaya. Nirbhaya is in this kind of things. Unfortunately, happened every other day. My question is, the police should have taken action by itself immediately after got the information. What is wrong with the police, number one? What is wrong with the politics that we have in this country? Till such time there is a furor all over the country, if nobody takes any attention. But Mr. Uh, Shashi Kant, the... if if one yeah. were to give Nirbhaya's example, I'm sure you will agree that the role that Sheila Dixit and her government that had played back then, compared to a Mamta Banerjee now, there's there's a marked difference. I'm sorry to say there, this. There is, there is certainly there is. I'm talking about the gravity of the crime. I'm not casting aspersions on Sheila or Mamta or right. anybody that might be there. I say by this time the West Bengal government should have been sort of uh, uh, present soon should have been imposed. Till such time there is detriment. No action is going to really have its impact on the society. By this time, action should have been taken against the officials of the Calcutta police. But unfortunately, everything out here is uh, in doldrums. Everybody is sleeping. Why this action has been taken? I'm a police guy. I have been seeing. I noticed till noticed that this kind of incidents happen. Do will will the authorities, governments take action only after this kind of error comes up? It's shame on us. It's shame on the country. It's shame of the administration, kind of administration and political setup that we have. Thank you. Um, in fact, if I could bring in uh, the TMC spokesperson Manav Jaiswal, the fact that Sukhendu Shekhar Roy had to write to the Honorable Home Minister goes on to indicate how he has had to, you know, write that letter only to, in fact, fix accountability for the Kolkata Police. Why couldn't that accountability of the Kolkata Police be fixed by the Mamata Banerjee government or the CM herself, who so far, in all? that she's had to say to the press or even uh, during that rally has only taken up for the kolkata police and the police commissioner well so for namaskar to the nation and uh, i should take an opportunity to tell every sisters and brothers in the country we need to unite together and make sure that every sister of ours is safe in the country it cannot be only the job of the administration it cannot just be a job of you know virtual reality check where you sit on the virtual platform and give a statement you have to do it on the grassroots level but well, as the people of bengal are concerned with the women in bengal is concerned you have seen year on year calcutta has been awarded the safest city in the country that does not undermine the heinous crime that has happened sad alarming on top of it we have to question what what's going on today Sister is dead. Woman is left. A family. But we are having a political agenda. We have seen CPI working for last five days. There is no press conference on the CPI. I was listening to Dr. Bagai uh, with great respect to you, sir, and our former IPS, uh, Sir Sashi Kant, sir. We are the next generation people. You are the people who have been there in the country and you have been in the helm of affairs for many, many years. I don't want to blame you, but I definitely want to tell, and definitely want to bring it out, that the 
people be before us who were there in the organization and the administration when nirbhaya happened the law should have been done and dusted with fast track court special what are you saying is the woman should get before what before, before you, you rattle on let on me tell you no, you no. have failed Akansha, you failed Akansha, to address the Akansha. questions No, Akansha. there was a need Akansha. for Akansha. a second Listen, autopsy. The the cremation please. was rushed. No, there are a host no, of no, questions. No, 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 no. You no, need no, to no, answer no, my no, questions no, because no, it is no, your no, party no, no, which no, is no, currently Akansha. in the dock. No, please give tell me, time. why was the principal transferred to another prestigious college? Why hasn't Anything? the role of the Kolkata police been probed when your own TMC MPs are demanding to do so? And why is uh, Mamta Banerjee so blatantly giving that political patronage to the Kolkata Police Commissioner Vinod Goel? You have had four, five questions, but so before that, I need to address Mr. Banerjee. Which is why we are having that debate the, because till date, so listen, those questions so are listen. unanswered. Akansha, uh, why you in rush? Why you rushing? Don't you have patience? No, it's Ask not about patience. rushing because. Ask some patience. You have asked me a question. No, we don't have any patience. Exactly. Mr. 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 You It's appalling that you are expecting patience for the women of this nation you, after that gruesome blow. Please go ahead. This is what you've been doing for last ten years. You're giving the given high voltage drama to the BJP. No, no, no it's your on. government which is very much in power. So please answer the question. I need to answer. I need to answer. Now listen to me. Listen to me. You know there's the one scheme which has come up now. The Mamta Banerjee has, you know, addressed with Rathir Sathi, companion for night. This has already been implemented, and it's been it's going to be Why a very robust and a very concerning. Why don't you talk about this particular case? Mr. Jaiswal, stick to the case. Listen, 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 listen. Don't get into political rhetoric. Right, which are you avoid to come? Anna, avoid to come. We need to hear what they have to say before. Yes, please go ahead, Mahesh. He has nothing to say. He's getting into political rhetoric even on a day like today. The three things I need to address. The first of all, about the cremation, it happened in front of the parents, and you know how the society is. When the parents are in a, in a real shock and trauma, we ask them to get it cremated as early as possible. We are the parents the forensic the experts? Are you trauma. saying no, that they were to conduct listen, listen, the second listen, autopsy? Who were the parents to, uh, you know, Akansha, as far as forensic Akansha, testing was concerned? Were the parents forensic experts? Akansha, what? Akansha, no, but please Akansha, apply Akansha, logic I mean, to the please. argument, no, no, please. No, 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 no. You have to have logic. Okay, I give you thirty the seconds. Autopsy please autopsy complete. All no, no, oh, right, please. Akansha, we are talking, autopsy 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 about, the autopsy 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 talking about the second autopsy. We are not talking about the first autopsy. Please go ahead, complete the other two points. The autopsy happened in front of the judicial magistrate. There is a. Uh, it was done on the uh, video graphing. Right, uh, but the, the SSL team itself has said that there was a need for a second autopsy. Please go ahead, finish the no, other listen, two listen, points. Listen, 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 listen to me. Now we are talking about uh, Mr. Sukhendu Shekhar, right? He has got this is the this is the democratic country, and he has he has liberty to ask questions, which is fine. The the government is answerable, the administration is answerable, everybody is answerable. As far as Vinod Goel is concerned, I must add, within 24 hours, the culprit was arrested. Today there has been autopsy report where the nails, the, the blood stain, which is actually of the prime uh, culprit, it has been proven. How yes, has it been proven? The days. DNA profiling yeah. report is not out as yet. Mana, you are sounding ridiculous. Charu, the please go ahead. No, let Charu no, uh, make a point. No, you, you just no. giving a clean. He, nothing has been proven. We all know. You, you I've given you more than agenda, three minutes. I've given you more than justified. three minutes. You no, no, this is what political happened. agenda no. you've you called upon this. Political agenda. Political, political agenda. agenda. Ask, 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 
Mr. Jaiswal, I am not allowing you to speak over me. Mr. Jaiswal, if you have any respect, if you have respect for your co-panelists who are women, all men, please let them speak. Charu Pragya, I'm afraid I'll have to mute your mic. I'm really afraid. Please mute him, Akansha, because really this is not a topic that I want to scream over. Charu, please go ahead and make a point. This is of grave importance and I have some very important points to make and I will make them one by one. The first thing I want to remind everyone is that it's been 10 days and only one arrest has been made. Is the Kolkata police proud about the fact that only one arrest has been made? When the autopsy report calls it a gang rape, when the victim has been treated in such a demonic manner that one person couldn't have done it, have they even given us the names of the other accused? Forget the arrests. So that's my first question. The second thing I want to ask is that why is it time and time again, Mamta government is found protecting the accused and not the victim. Yes, a heinous crime has happened, but what was your response to that crime? Are you trying to cover up evidence? You delayed the passing of the case to the CBI because I don't know what you were up to. You got rid of the body by a very, very quick funeral. What was the need of that? The second thing is the statements of the principal of RG Carr College. They do not add up. There are discrepancies. The CBI has said this. Another very, very important thing is that when people want to protest against this horrific murder and rape, instead of coming out in support of the protesters, your own minister, your own minister says, cut down the hands of those who raise fingers against Mamta Banerjee. What else would you expect? And after Kolkata police did a screenshot of the protesters, after Kolkata police actually ensured that we get all the protesters' pictures together, 70 people were identified, 30 were arrested. You know, Akansha, there were TMC workers that were found. TMC workers were found. And what does the chief minister do? The only woman chief minister in the country, by the way, she takes to the road. Who's the home minister of the state? Mamta Banerjee. Who's the health minister of the state? Mamta Banerjee. Who wants to protect the accused here? Mamta Banerjee. Who's ensuring the police uh, commissioner does not act up? Mamta Banerjee. The principal who should have been kicked I'm going to give you a minute. The principal who should have been kicked out was transferred to another. One of the questions are bound to be raised because it is a fact of the matter that the only woman chief minister... Every TMC debater, you have to interrupt every TMC panelist. I'm giving you time. The only woman chief minister who also happens to have the portfolio of health and who underneath her is protecting the police. The same police who continue to... That violent mob ran amok on the eve of Independence Day. I want to ask you, how did the police, in fact, allow such a thing? And that's not us who are posing questions. The Calcutta High Court has asked questions. Now, if you listen to me, you have to listen to me uninterrupted. We are listening to you. We are only listening and watching. We are only spectators. Can you? Manav, please go ahead. Right, right. I give you 30 seconds, Manav. Please go ahead. Charu, let him speak. Now, really, what happened in Bengal on 14th of August, midnight, 15th of August, every, every Chaurasta, every, you know, four corner streets, everywhere in Bengal, there was been, there have been an agitation. People had a candlelight. It was all peaceful. Police was there everywhere. Every picketing point was taken care of by the police. And here, where the Ajika incident happened, there were people within the, within the group who were actually trying to sabotage the peaceful march. And this is what they did. They tarnished the complete march. They tarnished the image of the doctor. And Kolkata police, and Kolkata police let them tarnish the image of those peaceful protesters. They knew 7,000 were there. It's not me. You know, remember, you are answering the Calcutta High Court right now because it's not me posing those questions. The Calcutta High Court was equally stunned that the Kolkata police, after such a heinous, gruesome murder and rape, was still not prepared to handle a mob of 7,000. It's a shame on you and your administration. Dr. Sajjeev Bagai, are you happy with the way this administration has handled these peaceful protesters, these doctors? Dr. Bagai, please answer my question in terms of all those two doctors who've been summoned. They've been summoned for allegedly spreading misinformation. Your first question in the first part to me was, that why not address your letter to the chief minister and why to the PM? The response of this gentleman from the TMC party from West Bengal 
answers your question more than adequately well. Instead of actually taking the blame, instead of coming to the origin of the problem, there is all kinds of fun and games happening there. Let me explain to you in exactly 60 seconds. Why call a person's death as a suicide when it is not? Why not allow the parents to see the body of their dead daughter for three hours? What is the urgency of the cremation? Is the autopsy been complete or not? Now even the autopsy reports are being denied. Why summon the doctors who've been whistleblowers? Why victimize the doctors who've been asking for justice? Why transfer 40 odd doctors out of, West, out of Calcutta? Why is this mob allowed to come and vandalize the hospital itself? Why is the mob being allowed to climb into women's hostel? If this is not terrorizing the students, what is? Why are you allowing renovation work to happen right next to where that rape and murder took place? That crime scene should have been sterile and cordoned off. This is bizarre. This is ridiculous. This is not justified. He can right. wave his hand as much as he right. wants. But the right. fact is, we don't trust them. Therefore, we trust our prime minister. And if you ask me at a personal level, as yes, a yes. brother, as a father, as a husband to a wife, as a son to a mother, there should be president's rule in West Bengal and this present government has no moral right to be in power. You can't protect no, a no, young lady to, doctor at work. That is ridiculous. This gentleman, Dr. Sanjeev Bagai, did you write any letter on Hathras? Now, Uttarakhand nurse has been raped and... Uh, shameful, man. Absolutely no, shameful. No, Do you need to buy shame from the market? Do you need to buy shame from the market? You are resorting to Hathras. Your chief minister says that the opposition is politicizing a matter as fragile as rape and murder. Who is politicizing this matter? No, Manav, Manav, please. There are basic, very basic codes and ethics to conducting a debate. And I will not let you politicize a matter such as this. Uh, Mr. Shashika, do you think, please, Manav, please calm down. No, 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 do not, do not resort to such cheap publicity stunts and such cheap arguments, which in fact only bring your party down, which is already down in the dumps right now. Mr. Shashika, do you think that the Trinamool Congress and the Chief Minister at the moment are resorting to misinformation as an allegation to muffle all those questions that are being posed to their governance? I'll speak as a former police officer. Whenever such kind of incidents, serious incidents take place, police, which is always the, under the thumb of the concerned political party or leadership or government, whatever it is in the state, they try to play all sorts of games and they permit the scenario to become a circus. Now, my question is, I blame everybody. Whatever happened there, a section of media is calling it uh, alleged rape. What the hell does it mean? The governor is sitting there. I saw his statement right now saying that this has happened. Has he written a letter to the president of India saying that this has happened and the president needs to take action on it? Unfortunately, whether police, why did they do it? I know whenever such incidents take place, police is always trying to hush it up all over the country. No, I'll tell it's you why I'm saying that because today both the doctors who've been summoned have been summoned on charges of spreading misinformation. That is uh, why I asked you specifically, why is misinformation being quoted for everything? In fact, we've also spoken to one of the doctors today and he's categorically uh, stated everything that was shared in the autopsy report. He's not even shared uh, on record the name of the victim. So why accuse him of spreading misinformation? Is not that's why I say I don't think that the doctors have for trying to spread a disinformation or misinformation. My objection, as it is, that why we always look into media if they want to take any action, the government wants to take any action on anything, they say, Okay, somebody said this thing, okay, take action. Why actions not, not taken at all in this case? I don't think the doctors are trying to spread out uh, the misinformation. All right. Misinformation all right. I, I, I'd it. like to quickly bring Can in uh, Charu. Yes, Charu, please go ahead. I think we'll be ending with your thoughts. 
So, first of all, what has TMC done against its minister Udaya in Goa? Please tell me, because he is pointing fingers at the protesters, telling them that you cannot raise a voice against something as heinous, as horrific as this rape. Has any action been taken against him? Secondly, Mr. Jaiswal is jumping up and down, trying to pretend this police is doing a fabulous job. Mr. Jaiswal, I am asking you again, ten days later, in spite of this being a clear case of gang rape, can you tell us the name of? one other accused all you have done is try and get rid of evidence what are you hiding who are you protecting and it has become no, a to, pattern I of sorts in west bengal whether, whether it is nadia whether it is sandesh khali or it is kolkata time after time after time women are victimized and they have been kept on the side no mr jaiswal you have crossed all limits for bringing in other cases quoting other cases instead of telling us why your police why your police for Forget about protecting the victim. Could not you even protect the protesters on the street. Who is coming off? Please tell Every me this. Moment. Forget about and protecting the victim and answer, bringing her to justice. You, answer, you are you not, answer, not even been able CBI. to protect the protesters. I am asking you certain questions. All right, wait for the answer. Manav and Sharu, I am afraid I am running out of time. I'll tell you what the truth is right now. The who has miscalculated her moves there's a chief minister who's been very fond of protesting but unfortunately is doing nothing about all those doctors who are protesting you and joining in and with that it's a wrap on that debate but